Hello my dear YouTubers, I hope you're all keeping well. I've had a better day, much better day <laughs> than today. Because I'm downloading Flight Simulator 2020 for the third bloody time. First time I downloaded it was the 18th of August when it released at midnight. I downloaded it overnight, no problems, no issues. I had it on Game Pass. After a couple of weeks that Game Pass version stopped working and I couldn't find a solution. So I bought it, I was going to buy it anyway. I bought it off Steam. And yeah, that downloaded, that was a bit more troublesome. I got through about 30 or 40 gigabyte, then it started to run into issues. I found a solution for that, I got through it. Today, this morning in fact, there was a patch out recently, an 11 gigabyte patch out. And I couldn't download it. Right at the beginning it was just looping. I'm sure you are, uh, quite a few of you know that what I mean. Instead of going to 100% downloading on each part, it was just loop. Download 10% and loop. Please wait, go back to zero. And it just kept loop looping, it wouldn't download. So I checked my integrity of game files on Steam. I won't do it now, but I checked it. Came back to the simulator. I noticed that the whole simulator had been wiped off my hard drive. So my first suggestion is don't check that integrity, integrity of game files on Steam because you could lose your whole download file that you've already downloaded. I was only trying to update it. So I had to start from scratch. So now I'm starting from scratch and as you can see I'm 4 gigabytes in and that's taken about 40 bloody minutes. Normally 4 gigabytes would take less than maybe 5 minutes on this PC and my uh, Vodafone wireless box. I'll link my Vodafone wireless box video in the top right for you. It's a fast mobile internet box I've got. Downloads quick but this takes ages and that's normal for this downloader. It's a horrible downloader from Microsoft, would you believe? Anyway, when I started downloading, right at the beginning, after 300 megabytes, it would do the same thing. It would loop, and it's been doing that all day for the past two, for the past day, in fact, since last night, and I couldn't get past it. So, I actually reinstalled Windows. I wiped all my hard drive, got the important information off my hard drives, wiped all three of my hard drives, reinstalled Windows, cleared my M2 SSD completely and my main one terabyte normal hard drive, I just wiped them all. And still it was looping, it wasn't downloading as you can see it is now. So I went back to the internet. And this post from Reddit, this specific person who posted this 18 days ago this worked for me or at least it's not looping at the moment it seems to have worked for me so basically what it's saying is go to command prompt I'll do this with you so you can see right click just type C-O-M-M -M will bring up command point here right click on there and go run as administrator so run command point as administrator and you want to type in this top line first. So it's net sh interface and it's tcp show global. Oops. Show global. Right, and what you're looking at, you're looking for this uh, receive window auto tuning level. You want, if that's showing normal or enabled, you want to type in this next line. I won't do it now because I've disabled mine, but you type in net sh I, I -T -T -C -P set global auto tuning level or one word equal disabled. I'll link this thread in the description so you can follow this word by word. Type that in there and that should, and then type that again, that top line and it should show your auto tuning level as disabled. That suggestion su suggestion seems to have worked for me. It doesn't seem to be looping now. It's a slow downloader. Even if you've got the fastest internet in the world, this is a slow downloader. I'm likely gonna have to leave this overnight 
I'll pause it and resume tomorrow more likely. I'll see how I feel. It's going to take a heck of a long time to get to that 100 gigabyte, but that seems to have solved my problem. In fact, there's a second web page I want to link in the description on Time Tech. It's saying Windows 10 operation, operating system seems to have had that enabled or normal auto-tuning on as default and with some connection it actually slows your connection down. I was watching Dr. Disrespect, I'm actually watching him at the moment, I enjoy watching him, don't blame me. He's a bit of a uh, good laugh, good fun to watch on a Friday night. I was watching that live and also downloading with no problem, my internet speed does seem to have increased by disabling that, let's get back to that webpage that auto tuning level. So that's my advice. If you're having problems, if you're, if you're on an internet and you've tried all the other solutions, another solution is to plug an ethernet cable into your router. I can't because I'm on mobile internet, but if you're on a router, plug your ethernet cable into that and the other end into your PC. People are saying that's a solution. There's all sorts of solution. I tried everything, a registry cleaner, a sort of net Four inhibitor to limit my internet a bit that didn't work reinstalled my hard drives uh, wiped my hard drives like I said with hope that would trigger it that didn't this seems to have done it so far I could run into an issue later on that happened the second time I tried to download Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 if that happens I'll resume the video and show you how to get past that part if it doesn't then all's good Okay, just a quick addition to the end of this video. It is the next day. It's now Saturday, 10 to 3 in the, well, 5 to 3, 3 in the afternoon. I didn't leave it downloading overnight. I just started it off again this morning. We're slowly getting there, as you can see. If you get to this point, downloading FSBase, CGL, a group of numbers, FS package. I'm on number 11. There's 33 of these packages of that FS base package. We're on number 11. They're two gigabyte each. Sometimes, it's just happened here in fact, just before I started recording, it won't, it will loop back to the beginning of downloading that package, number 11. Now if that happens, you want to get into your folder where you've installed Flight Simulator 2020. For me, it's easy. I created a custom folder and I'm using Steam download, but I bought it off Steam, so I don't know if this will work with uh, Game Game Pass, but it should do as long as you know where your install folder is. So if that keeps looping, a way to fix this is to go to your PC, go to your uh, drive, mine's on my SSD, D drive M2 where you've installed Flight Simulator 2020 click into it like I said I created a custom folder FS 2020 I'll click into that click into the official folder in your Flight Simulator main folder so the official folder and because I'm I bought it off Steam it's going to be in Steam double click in that folder the here's where your all your folders which are downloading are based as you can see, it's downloaded up to number 10 FS package. If that loop keeps happening, if it keeps going back to zero, I keep it going because sometimes it just gets past it. It happened on number 10, it eventually downloaded it. So I'll let this go a couple of times. If it keeps resetting, delete the previous package. In this case, it's number 10. We're on number 11 now. If that keeps looping back to zero, I will delete number 10 come out of this first press pause and then press the cross in the right corner come out of this downloader go to your folder which i've just showed you i'll show you that again i've got mine on my ssd yours will probably be different fs 2020 that's the custom folder i created go into your folder where wherever it is go into official and then steam if you've uh, installed it off steam once again come out of that Go into this, delete the previous package. In this case, it's number 10. Delete that, restart the installer again, download it again. It will have to download number 10, but hopefully that should kick it back into a proper download where it will download 10, 11, 12, etc. Like I said, there's 33 of those, so keep an eye, an eye on it. If it keeps looping back, 
come out of it and delete the previous package, whichever one that is. By the way, to see what files you've uh, recently, have most recently downloaded, just right click anywhere in the folder apart from one of the files, so on a blank part of the folder, right click, sort by, date modified and descending. So sort by date modified and descending, and that will give you the most recent download uh, file that it's downloaded. In this case, it's number 10, and we're trying to download number 11. So there you go. Anyway, let me know your thoughts, guys, and I'll see you soon.